I'm Efra Imoke. I am the deputy president of the city chamber, the Calabar Chamber of Commerce. My industry is mines and agriculture. Efra, there's a very, very large carnival takes place in um, Calabar. Yes. Um, how did that start? Um, how it started, it, I think it was um, started about 10 years ago. The governor at the time, um, Donald Duke, um, was the initiator of the carnival. It was a concept around tourism, which he thought um, would grow to embrace the larger community. Um, it has grown to leaps and bounds, probably more than he anticipated. How many people take, uh, take part in the carnival? Um, the entire carnival, uh, the participants, if, if we want to call them participants, even though really um, everybody in town on that day is a participant. It's, it's actually dubbed the uh, largest, Africa's largest street party because um, other than the people, the participants in the carnival, the people in the bands, the entire uh, city comes out, the streets are packed, uh, people from out of town, people from outside the country. I would say approximately a million people are in Calabar on the night, on the day of day and night of the carnival. And the end night is the culmination of a process. Describe the process of events that leads up to it. All right. Uh, yes, um, the carnival is a part of the festival, the Calabar festival. The Calabar Festival, again, was started uh, when uh, Donald Duke was governor, and he thought it was a way to bring awareness to tourism, which always uh, the state had the potential to, to promote. And what it was was a month-long uh, festival with activities ranging from literary essay writing to um, jazz, jazz uh, festivals to um, cultural events, boat regattas, uh, and of course, um, live shows with bands from all over the world. Uh, I think um, some names that are familiar to the generations, uh, the, the younger generation, Neo, um, Kisha, somebody, they've all been to Calibre for, mm. at one time or another, for the festival. And of course, most of the Nigerian artists, Debange and all of the young people have been part of the festival. So it culminates somewhat with the carnival on the 27th of December, two days after Christmas, is when the major carnival is. On the 25th, there is, uh, before, the, before Christmas, there is, a, uh, there is a pageant, which is also tied to the carnival. The carnival queen is selected at the pageant. On the 25th, um, Christmas evening, there is the kings and queens competition. This is where the kings and queens, adult kings and queens of the five bands that are um, registered bands in the carnival have a competition. And then on the 26th, it's the children's carnival. And then, of course, the big event is on the 27th. And how many people take part, make floats and make costumes uh, to participate in, in the event? Um, the success of the carnival actually has been the blossoming of the creative industry. Not just in terms of um, the outfits, because 90% of the outfits are actually made in Calabar, not just in Nigeria, in Calabar, right there in Calabar, or in and around Calabar. But beyond that, the choreography, I mean, because really the carnival has um, grown, the creativity has grown, the involvement has grown. So everything about the carnival is bigger, I would say better, and more involving. Um, in terms of actual numbers, no less than 1,500 people are involved in one way or the other, whether it's actual making things, the logistics around bringing in raw materials. Some of it comes from the villages. Some, some of it comes from everywhere, including China and the United States. So it has become quite an industry. And how many visitors do you get from outside of Nigeria to the country? Um, good thing the, the government and Cross River State does take statistics on this, does take notes on this. Um, the last carnival in 2013 attracted over 8,000 foreign visitors. Now I must say a number of them are from the diplomatic corps resident in Nigeria, but be that as it may, it still keeps them there and it still brings them to Calabar. 
Um, a number of them come specifically for the carnival. The Carnival Commission, which regulates the carnival through the tourism board, the Cross River State Tourism Board, interacts um, with other carnivals, the Trinidadian, the Brazilian, um, Notting Hill, and so on. Mm -hmm. So just by that collaboration, there is involvement from other carnival participants. Two years ago, the winners of the Brazilian carnival made an appearance at the Calabar Carnival it completely changed the dynamics. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and were they better than you? Um, or could we not say? Um, I wouldn't say they were better. I'll just say they were more daring. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs>